In this video, we are going to take a look at the ST300 series snowblowers from Husqvarna. And we are going to take a look at what separates them from the ST200 series. The ST300 series of snowblowers are more commercial grade of snowblower. They're a little bit heavier duty built and have some better all around features. So let's take a look at some of these features now. We'll start inside the auger housing where you can see the auger ribbon itself is serrated, but it's also a heavier gauge metal than on the ST200 series of snowblowers. Another big difference here is the cast iron gearbox. The cast iron gearbox in this ST300 series snowblower adds a little bit more weight to the front end of the machine to help keep it down. It comes with a longer warranty and will last a lot longer than the cast aluminum gearbox in the standard series, ST200 series snowblower. And if you look behind the gearbox, you'll notice that the impeller has a different look to it. That's because this has a cast iron impeller in it. So you don't get that wearing down and uh, bending of the arms that actually throw the snow up out. And you can see that there's four holes there inside that, in the center of that impeller. What that does is that allows air to come through there and helps give it an extra boost of, of air to help push the uh, snow up through the chute. Helps prevent it from clogging up as much. Uh, another small little detail right there is the tie strap that you see going between the auger housing and the gearbox. It helps to strengthen and sturdy everything up there and keep the gearbox and the auger assembly from moving around and uh, from your bushings, wear bushings and bearings wearing out as fast. If you look at the top of the auger housing, you see that gray um, kind of looks like a trim piece there. That's actually a weight. That's actually a, a pretty hefty piece there. And what it does is it helps keep the front of the auger housing down. The whole front of the snowblower stays down to the ground better so you don't get it rearing up and trying to lift up over the hard, packed down snow. This will bite and chew right on through it. Here's a little closer look at that cast iron impeller and the holes in that we were talking about that help suck air in there and give it an extra burst of air to push that snow up out. There you can see the cast iron gearbox. You see the tie strap going from the, the cast iron gearbox up to the auger housing. And you'll see the auger ribbon itself. That's a nice good shot there of uh, how thick that auger ribbon is. That'll really cut through some snow there. Here you can see that this auger housing towers above the auger pretty far. A um, bit higher than the ST200 series auger housing. So this can accommodate a little bit more snow at one shot. You know, if it's a, a heavier snow or it starts to drift, this can handle it. And speaking of drifts, you might notice that black um, piece of metal there on the side of the auger housing. Well, that's the next part we're going to talk about here that these units come with that the 200 series doesn't. These black pieces of metal that you see sticking up on either side of the auger housing, they're what is known as drift cutters. And what they do is if you have a snow drift and you're plowing through it and the drift is up higher than your auger housing, they help to clear the snow down and into your auger and it gets chewed up and dispersed, but it leaves you with that nice smooth edge then along the, uh, the, the side of your driveway, your walkway, wherever you're blowing the snow. You don't have that, that drift continuing to fall again. So they're just a nice little added feature. Um, you get into the big heavy snow, they're nice to have. The ST300 series snowblowers come with taller tires on them than the ST200 series of snowblowers. This, of course, is to help you get through the deeper snow better. As you can see, the dashboard operator control area is pretty much the same layout. The only difference being that you have to push down on the knob for the chute rotation lever to be able to move. And the drive, the forward and reverse, is hydrostatic. So there isn't different speeds to select, just forward or reverse. The further you push it forward, the faster it goes. The further you pull it backwards, the, further, or the faster it goes in reverse. This picture shows a little bit better meaning of, of what we're talking about here. There's not different increments of speed that you select to go forward or reverse. It's just infinite adjustment. So you can go as fast or as slow as you would like within that range. Meaning if you're in a real deep snow, you can go a little bit slower to give the snowblower more time to chew up the snow and get it spit out. Or you can just simply push the, the lever further forward and the machine will go faster. This works great in transport mode or... You know, if it's just a real light snow or you're going up a hill, you want to give it a little bit extra speed. Um, same way with reverse. Just the further you pull that lever back, the faster it's going to go in reverse. 
And just like the ST200 series of snowblowers, the ST300 series of snowblowers also have the same steering assist feature. It works a little bit differently, but as far as the operator controls, the same trigger style controllers underneath the handles on either side. The ST300 series of snowblowers have a black plastic pan that cover the drive system on these snowblowers. Inside there is a complete hydrostatic transmission. This is the hydrostatic transmission. As you can see, it's pretty similar to one that you would find in a lawn tractor, um, just that the, the pulley is mounted on the front of it rather than on the top. Basically inside, everything works the same way as a hydrostatic lawnmower transmission. Um, pretty self-explanatory there. Here you can see that the ST300 series of snowblowers use two belts, just like the ST200 series, except in the ST300 series, as we noted, it's a hydrostatic transmission. The hydrostatic transmission takes the place of the friction disc and wheel assembly that you would find in the ST200 series snowblowers and most conventional snowblowers. The low maintenance costs and reliability of the hydrostatic drive units are what make them great for commercial use or for residential users who have a lot of snow and have to use their snow blower frequently. Now the downside is the hydrostatic transmission, that heavy duty cast iron gearbox, that cast iron impeller, items like that also increase the price on the ST300 series compared to the same size snow blower in the ST200 series line. So this has been a look at the ST300 series of snow blowers. As you can see, there are a lot of similarities to the ST200 line of snowblowers, but with the ST300 series, the price is a little bit higher because you get a lot more options that make the machine a lot more reliable, a lot more dependable for years to come, and just help it do a better overall job with less effort. Um, these are more of a commercial end machine, like we said. That's who uh, usually buys this type of machine, but they're also great for homeowners, like we said, who want a snowblower that's going to last for a long time to come, or who have to use snowblowers quite a bit. You know, if you live in a state like, um, you know, Michigan, Minnesota, um, somewhere like that where you get a good bit of snowfall, or Canada, you know, this would be a good machine to get. 